Okay, I think I figured out what I did wrong the last time. As I said, you know the boss of me. Oh no, I'm slipping! Distress! Abandoned post! Abandoned it fast! I'm dying! Learn how to swim, boy. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome, lad. He was talking to me. Yeah, discuss amongst yourselves. Nope, me. Ignore me. Ignore me, you. Ignore me while I do something. No need to argue about the fact that I am mad. Uh oh. No. Not the bees. Oh man, I feel bad. These guys are so nice. But I had to go. It is my duty. Hello, Ben Knight. Mind if I join your semicircle? Let us big kids figure this one out. Oh, really? Oh. All these another pieces. Another horn and another missing piece. Interesting. <coughs> your hero is thinking. Oh, really? <laughs> hero. What about you? No, no, not you. I want to talk to that dark brooding character. Don't toot that horn. Talk, talk to, talk to this guy here. Well, I know the answer, but I want to see how all of you will solve it. What about you? You don't talk at all? You look like a little man who wants to do big things. Yeah, I'll show you who's little. No, not this horn. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. That guy doesn't talk. I figured that out. Okay. Let me just try one more time because I want to see his reaction. Leave me alone, guys. I'll figure this out by myself. Oh, no, you won't. I'm going to figure it alone. There you go, tree. A chop a chop. Yeah, sit back and watch. Don't disturb me. Oh. Oh, big man. Oh. Oh. Big man indeed. Over here, buddy. Yeah. We're friends now. <laughs> what? But I thought we were friends. Oh, you. I'll have your head when I get a chance. He was quite the jerk, <laughs> am I right? Uprooting a tree. How heroic. What? Fine. Anyone mind if I take five? No, you're gonna take a break. I wanna, I wanna talk Careful. to Careful! If you fall in, who will save you? And I'm not gonna even try to talk to that other guy. He's like too cool to talk. Like, yeah, why don't I talk? Because I'm awesome. Whatever, man. I have better kingly things to do. Cause I'm a king. Hop. Hop. Pardon me. Come on. Oh, I hate these guys. Ah. Uh. I punch him in the head. The tree was too heavy to move. I would need to chop it down to size. Oh, okay. Now you want to chop it down. Let's go. What, is he going to make a boat out of this now? I left the hatchet lodged in the tree because I would not need it any more. Are you sure? Quite sure. Everyone always asks about that hatchet. They get a tad annoyed. <laughs> oh, oh no! Was that part of the plan? How did that help? Okay, I think I'm supposed to tie it up now. 
to make a raft of some sort. Okay. Do I have anything to tie it up with? No, I don't. I'm stumped. <laughs> I made a joke. Right. Right, right, right. Let's see if this path is cleared up yet. The forest is blocked until this situation is under control. Okay, so something around here is the solution itself. Oh, can I take this? Oh, okay, I see. I see. Oh, come on. Yeah. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm the silent heroic type. Oh, okay. What? Oh, you want me to do it too? <laughs> Damn it. How I many was nice enough to let me try? I like that guy best. You can't ignore me forever. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm deep in thought. You know, I was just gonna ask whether you wanna come with me to that raft, but now that you're gonna be a prick about it, I'll leave you behind. I wonder what it's gonna do to go across. You know what? I like that dark brooding character. He was the nicest one of us all these fuckers. All right, we got ourselves a raft. Okay, and our cap seems to be a solution for everything. Okay, what? Uh. Um. <laughs> Hang on a sec, Graham, right? Yes. Um. How did you know my name? Well, you'd be surprised at the information people give out when they're too busy thinking about their own agenda. I also observed that without you, no one could have made it across. Well done, Graham. Aww. Uh, thanks, I guess. They'll never acknowledge it, you know. Those who use their minds over their biceps are never woven into the tapestries of time. I can tell you're like me, a creative thinker, an intellectual. To win this competition, you'll need to prove that your talents are more powerful than their strength, agility, and speed. You'll also need a friend. I could really use a friend. They call me Manny. Pleased to meet you. So, friend, <laughs> what's your favorite color? Do you like popcorn flavored jelly beans? Because I do. What's your availability for sleepovers? Are we in a secret club? <laughs> <laughs> Green. I prefer... Pizza flavored. I'm free on Wednesdays and Saturdays, and I would say more of a secret alliance. Damn. Alliance? This competition will not be easy, and Daventry needs men like us. If we put our heads together, we might have a shot. What's the plan? If you win, put a good word in for me with the king. And if I win, I'll do the same. I like you, Manny. Soon, we'll both be moving up the ranks in the castle together. We should head inside the theater, though. <laughs> oh, agile little fellow. Let me know how I can help. Maybe you could throw us a rope or something, Manny. I'll try to copy you, Manny. Because we're friends. <laughs> Since we don't have the upper strength or the leg strength like Manny does. I think our strength is climbing wines. Let's see if there's anything else to see here. Nope. Man, who knew Manny would be the nicest out of them all? A pleasant surprise. Haha! -ha! Success! Graham, to the front of the stage, please. Now that we have recovered our list, it is my duty to inform you that you are officially signed in. Yay. And I do want to apologize. I am very, very terribly sorry. 
but we've run out of commemorative tote bags. That's not a problem. I have no use for tote bags. My mother designed my cape with lots of pockets. Is the next event about to start? Not so fast, Pocket Boy. <laughs> the tournament bylaws explicitly state that each contestant must complete every event before continuing on in the competition. Since you were late, you missed the test of chivalry and the welcoming parade. Both designed as light-hearted warm-ups and getting-to-know-you type exercises. You know, an icebreaker before we start in on the usual death, destruction and duels of a cutthroat nature. Okay. Don't forget about Amendment 70, Article 4. I was getting to that, thank you. In the spirit of equal opportunity, the new rules state that you can schedule a makeup chivalry test if and only if the circumstances for your absence were extenuating. So, I will ask, what were your extenuating circumstances that made you late for the tournament? Well, the bridge was out. I didn't hear about the date change. That's good. Well, I, I never heard the date was switched. Mm-hmm. I'll just pencil in hard of hearing. <laughs> now, go on, mingle with the other contestants, find out as much as you can about them, and when you're ready for the chivalry test, come and see me. Awesome. Woo. Hello, my name's Graham. Nice to meet you. Achaka. Achaka, Achaka. So, where do you hail from? Ajaka. I see. <laughs> Sounds exotic. I want to hear him talk more. <laughs> so, um, what type of arrows do you fly with? Ajaka. <laughs> nice, nice. I prefer the hand whittled sapling arrows myself. Okay, I don't want to part up with you. Um, you're awesome, but I'm gonna ask anyway. Up? Show Daventry the power of dueling archers? What do you say? Achaka. Yeah, you're right. You'd probably just slow me down. Okay, sure. Good chat. I'm gonna get back to the chivalry test. Yeah. Hey, Manny. Oh, hey, Graham. We were just sharing some tips about the tournament. Let me know if you want the rundown about any of our competitors. Oh, yes. All the info, please. First, what can Achaka. you tell me about Achaka? I'm studying his every move. He should make any opponent quiver. <laughs> you got me doing it now. He's fast, strong, and vicious with his bow. I'm trying to convince him to join our alliance. But the translation isn't quite working. Ajaka. Okay. What can you tell me about Sir Loin of Roast Beefington? I can tell you that sounds like a phony name. Who's giving you this false information? Did you just make that up? Go and introduce yourself to everyone. Then... Come see me for the dirt. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm good. Thanks, Manny. So Goodbye. you made... <laughs> that's some creative name-making there. Sirloin of Unearthed Beefington. The treasure that was within. I could feel the riches with the edges. <laughs> Hello, Beefington. <laughs> Jerk. Hey, uh, thanks for knocking that log over out there. Really? You gave me the opportunity to go on a lovely cruise. Those knights were annoying me, and I wanted some alone time. Let me be, little fly. You don't want to wake the bull. Oh, please. Look, I don't want to be in this conversation any more than you do, but I missed the chivalry test, and I need to make it up. The faster we get this over with, the faster I can leave you alone. Make it quick. Then buzz off. Well, you buzz off. By the way, I'm Graham. I'm Graham. Graham Cr No. No last names. I don't even want your first name. And your name? I'm known throughout the land as Sir Conference, but I am currently <laughs> in the process of rebranding myself, starting with my name. You should call me Acorn. I see. What was that you were hiding in your paws? Well, none of your business, feather boy. Hey. It's Graham. Seriously, what are you hiding? Is it a snack? Is Leave it? it alone, string bean. It's a snack, isn't it? Do I want to know his name what again? What's your name again, Sir Fatso? Uh, it's Acorn. <laughs> Get it right or pay the price. Uh, I'll leave you be. Sir Fatso. Go away. 
is just as bad as the uh, circumference. Treasure that was within. I could feel the riches with the edges of my fingertips when it clasped shut. My arm was pinched between the treasure and its casing. I couldn't stay. If I did, I'd lose circulation and my limb would be lost. Oh, no. If I tried to remove my arm, it would be sliced from wrist to elbow. Oh no. I didn't have much time. Then a sharp snort erupted through the shadows. It heard me. There were no options. If that treasure was to be mine, I had to sacrifice my arm for the good of the rest of me. I flung my pinched arm downward as hard as I could. The treasure shook inside, but my arm remained. Footsteps. No time to run. No time to think. Only action. I jumped off the wall and fell into a deep pit. A crash. Treasure everywhere. A yawn behind me. It was awoken. I scrambled to grab each piece and hurtled one into the darkness. It called out in pain as I heard its body crash to the floor. Treasure in hand, I escaped and adventured onward. Oh, how delightful. How delightful. And you escaped with all the treasure? Yes. I relished every last bit of that treasure. Oh, the flames danced right before my... Hey there, I'm Graham. Charm. I'm sure. And your name? What? Well, I, I didn't catch your name. What? Is this true? <laughs> Surely you jest, Greg. What rock did you crawl out from? <laughs> How do you not recognize this well-proportioned face? Well, it's not Greg. It's Graham. And uh, of course I know who you are. You're... You're... No, uh, the jerk who pushed me into the river. That's the one. Oh, certain of himself. Okay. Certain of himself. Play on words. You know what? Should we... You know, I don't want to kiss ass. You're the jerk that pushed me. That jerk who pushed me into the river? Oh, yes. That silly feather does look familiar. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> <laughs> like a limp piece of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what you need, Gail, is an upgrade. <laughs> like my mane of excellence. Hey, hey, my mother gave me that feather. <laughs> I might be silly, but you're 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 certain of himself? Sir ten of himself. <laughs> Ch cheeky <laughs> But now you're starting to bother me, Grant. Well, I, I couldn't help it. Um, no, but seriously, you're... Oh, fine. I have to fucking... Every woman's dream? Well, you got that right. The ladies love, 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 love... Yeah. Who? Who? Who do they love, Gabe? God it's damn it. Gabe, it's... Oh, never mind. Yes, your name... Uh, you are... You're... Oh, fine. You're going not gonna tell me. I'm gonna have to wait one second. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting right here, Garrett. God damn the guy! Hit him. Yes, Graham. You want some dirt on some? Yeah, I want the name of that guy. What can you tell me about Sir Ten of himself? That's so inconsiderate. Although clever, these silly buns are not very becoming to a gentleman like yourself oh many Go meet everyone then come talk to me i've got a few tips to share okay fine i thought you were gonna help me but fine what can you tell me about acorn i can tell you not to mess with those bull horns in any strength competition i shouldn't be telling you this but i heard a rumor that the man keeps a pet squirrel under his belly oh is that what it was hiding the weirdo does that imagine what else he's hiding under there Neither of us is going to be able to match his strength. If we're going to oust him, we'll need to work together and expose his secrets. Oh, maybe he's just made of squirrel. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. I have a feeling I have to go talk to Mr. Acorn over there. <laughs> yep, that is definitely a squirrel. Want? I, uh, heard what you're hiding. No, you didn't, skinny pants. Yes, I did, I did. Pants. I heard a rumor that a tiny squirrel pet lives under your belly. 
What? Who told you that? I bet it was Whisper. He's the worst. His ego is the one thing I can't stomach. And she, well, she's not my pet. She's my friend. Does your squirrel friend have a name? I wish Whisper would keep his big mouth shut. Her name is Princess Madeline of Avalon. <laughs> She's a proper lady. What else is hidden in that belly? The bones of a feather boy if you don't leave me alone. Oh. I think you're hiding something else in there, but I'm not sure I want to find out. Okay, that's, that's not that's not hard to find out. I'll leave you be. You need to get lost. Fine, I'm gonna get lost. You play with the little squirrel friend. Failed itself. Yes. Have you remembered my name? And I'm just gonna go with Whisper. Whisper. Correct. Oh. Well, Whisper's full name is Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. The third. Hailing from Modesto. But I'm sure a fan like you knew that. Would you like an autograph? Huh. Yeah, on my ass, I don't please. seem to have any portraits on me. Well, if you find one, I'll sign it. Free of charge. Whisper loves his fans. Whisper loves the knighthood. Whisper loves thwarting evil. But most of all, Whisper loves Whisper. As do we all. I should be getting back to my chivalry test now. Don't go. Whisper can do it. That's a nice thought, but I'm pretty sure those guards would never confuse you for me. I mean, your armor is pretty recognizable. Whisper's armor is shiny because Whisper loves his own reflection. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Good day, Whisper. Wow. I mean, any more and he'd be sucking his own, you know. Yes, Graham? You want some dirt on someone? Pretty sure he does that already, yes. What can you tell me about Whisper? Whisper? Huh. His feet might fly by without a sound, but his mouth never will. A shining star in his hometown, he hopes to rebuild his fan base in Daventry. I've heard he'll do anything for the spotlight and can never be outshined. People at Arrakan are usually primed for a fall. Don't you think so? Hmm. I do think so. I guess we've talked about everyone. All right. I'm good. Thanks, Manny. Goodbye. Thank you indeed, Manny. You're awesome. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Yeah. Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight competing in the tournament that speaks multiple languages? I'm pretty sure it's going to be Manny. Manny? We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. Hmm, I'm gonna go with... Uh, it's either Whisper or Achaka. Yeah. Whisper. Okay, moving on. What is the full name of the fastest contestant in the competition? Oh god, it has to be him, isn't it? I messed up. I should have said Achaka than last one. Damn. Okay. Because he said, like, fast feet, remember? I think I'm going to fail this test. I'm not sure, guys. <laughs> okay. Sir Walter Harris Ignatius Sally Percival Eduardo Ramon Jr. the third of Modesto. Come on. I'm sure it. I see. Come on. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion Arof? of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite I'm charming. ready now. Okay, let's see here. Yes, I am. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got three answers correct. Why don't you go and mingle? Okay, I'm gonna go with Gather Madeline. Gather some more fun facts about your fellow competitors. Return to me when you're ready to take the test again. Are you ready for the chivalry test? Let's do it. Question one. Who is the only knight okay. competing in the no. tournament that Fine. speaks multiple languages? Manny. We're friends, you know. We have kind of an alliance. Next question. All right. Next question. This knight hopeful hails from a land far outside of Daventry. 
Based on the odds, he is favored to win the competition. A chaka. Okay, moving on. What is the full name of the fastest All right, this should be it, guys. competition? Sir Walter Harris, Ignatius, Sally, Percival, Eduardo, Ramon, Come on, Jr., give the me the passing mark. Modesto. I'm sure. I see. Last question. Who or what is the favorite companion of the strongest competitor? Princess Madeline of Avalon. She sounds quite charming. Okay, let's see here. Tallying, tallying. It looks like you got all the answers correct. Great job, Pockets. Now, we shouldn't keep your new friends waiting, should we? Let's start the show. Oh, wow. Welcome, everybody. You were all here to win a knight position on King Edward's court. But that's not all. As you all know, tragically, the king has no heirs. So, this position could very well lead to the crown of Daventry itself. Now, let's officially commence the competition part of the tournament. I do hope you've all made friends, because it's about to get nasty. The time has come to collect your entrance tickets. Oh, uh, oh over here! Over here, I got mine right here! I'm sorry, I really am, but that is not an entrance ticket. In fact, from up here, it looks like a, a sweaty piece of cloth. Oh, probably just a snot rag. <laughs> Each night hopeful will need to bring back to the theater, dum 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 one eye of a hideous beast. And, due to Proclamation 1748.2, it will actually need to be a hideous beast. Not like last year. No adorably cute, fuzzy, or tiny creature eyes will be accepted. Thank you. Nothing to see here. There are many hideous eyes to find in Daventry. We urge you to take this opportunity to show us your skills. We want to know what's in your right. heart, how you think, and how you react in the face of danger. You might not believe all that can be interpreted from one eye, but we will still judge you all the same. Now, everyone, go forth and claim thine eyes. Mm. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Subscribe if you wanna watch the next few episodes and uh, be sure to share and like if you did. I'll catch you next time guys. Stay cool. Boys out. <laughs>